Hello, it's Peter again in La Jolla, California. What I want to share with you is what did I learn from the world's greatest salesman? That's a pretty bold statement, isn't it? But this gentleman, he is in the Guinness Book of World Records for selling the most large ticket items. He sold Chevrolets one-on-one. -on -one. He sold 1,425 in one year. In his entire career from 1963 to 1978, this individual, he sold over 13,000 Chevrolet cars, one person at a time. Who is this person? His name is Joe Gerard. And in 1990, before I had ever sold anything, a financial concept, I sold a business, anything, someone gave me this tape. And I put it in my car. And for those of you who don't know what a tape is, they used to have tape decks in cars. Can you believe it? Now you connect your Bluetooth. And I put it in my car, I turned it on, and he was speaking. And it was like the Bible. I had a friend of mine who opened up a mutual fund dealership with me, and we used to listen to Joe Girard because he was almost a comic as well. And I gotta share with you, that's probably why a lot of people like dealing with him, because he never took himself seriously. One of the, his best phrases were, that he hated getting up in the morning. And he looked in the mirror every morning and he said, someone's gonna pay for me getting up. Because he understood that time is money. Joe's no longer with us on this planet, but he got the most out of it and most importantly, he wrote this incredible book that I was listening to. It was called How to Sell Anything to Anybody. And we're talking, he just went out there, he was not a book reader, he went out and experimented. And one of the experiments that he, he did, and he checked and tested again and again, is when he first got into car salesmanship, and this is in Detroit, think about it. He became the world's top car salesman the top salesman that ever lived for selling large ticket items. Could you imagine? One-on-one, -on -one, over 1,400 cars to satisfy clients. And they would come back. And these are people who would come back again and again buying, and they only wanted to deal with Joe. So here's the huge insight that Joe discovered, and he said, you have to be very aware of this because this can kill your business. So he came up with something called Gerard's Law of 250. So it wasn't really simplistic. There's been a lot of scientists who've come up with something very simple, but you're probably asking, what is the law of 250? So Joe says early on in his career, when he put on that way of thinking that I'm a salesman, how do I go and get more sales? Because everything was an opportunity to actually sell cars because he looked at everybody and he said, hey, everybody needs a car. They're going to buy from someone. They're going to buy from Joe. Well, I'm not Joe. My name's Peter. Hi, Mom. So he goes to a wedding. He goes to several weddings. And he asked the caterer, how do you know how much food to prepare? And he said, the caterer turned to him and said, you know, usually about 250 people. And he went around to a number of weddings that he was invited to, because a popular guy probably sold all these people, half these people cars in a few years. So he goes and finds out that the average wedding has 250 people. And then he went to a Catholic funeral. And he's looking at the little cardboard card. And he goes to the funeral director and said, how do you know how many cards to, to print up? And how many do you usually do? He said, around 250. They went to a Protestant funeral. 
mean, that's the same thing. They said around 250 these cards we print up for the deceased. And they went to a Jewish cemetery, sorry, a Jewish funeral. Same thing. And it hit him. He said, each and every one of us are in an invisible network of people. And you should be nice and cognitive that everybody is part of a community and it's not just them. He says, it's 250 people on average. Some have a lot more, some have less, but on average, it's 250. 250 people will show up at your wedding and 250 people who show up at your funeral. So when you meet someone, just be mindful that it's just not that person. I want you to imagine behind me thousands and thousands of people who are in my network. And I imagine that in your network. So be kind, be conscious. Also remember, be focused because People know so many people, but they can't remember everything about people. So you have to define your unique value proposition, be able to communicate it to people so when that situation comes up, when they need someone who delivers that product, that service, they think of you. Joe Girard, what we should take from Joe Girard is he didn't sell everything. He didn't sell Mercedes, he didn't sell BMWs, he didn't sell furniture, he didn't sell real estate. He sold Chevrolet cars. And anybody who liked Chevrolet and needed a new car, they thought of Joe. And Joe treated everybody special because he looked at that person that they were a representative of a community, an invisible community. And that those invisible communities made Joe Girard the Guinness Book of World Record, greatest salesman for selling big ticket items. And if you're mindful of this, wherever you are in your career, you will rise to your highest level of ability to be able to get what you want because it's not about what you know. And I know people want to believe that it's what you know. It is both what you know and who you are and who you know, and more importantly, to be mindful, who do they know? If you have a strong message of what you sell, whether it's a product, an idea, or whatever, then you're able to share with people, and they're able, if it's easy to communicate, will share it with other people and bring them back to you. You guys have been awesome, and just remember, Joe Girard, and I still laugh when I think about him telling the story about when he got in front of the mirror every morning when he woke up at five, he said, I hate being up this early as he's shaving. Someone's gonna pay for this, but they're gonna leave with a smile. Have an awesome day. Please like, please share, please leave a message, please follow. I look forward to seeing you soon.